Of a man who says that he shot Martin, George Zimmerman says he acted in self-defense. And the Orlando Sentinel newspaper now revealing new details. They are reporting that according to police, Zimmerman says that he and Martin got into a verbal argument and that the team then punched him in the nose and also banged his head on the ground. Zimmerman says that's when he started crying for help dealing with the teenager. The Sanford Police Department says that account is, quote, consistent with the evidence that they turned over to prosecutors. Now, those are statements that would seem to add more weight to the shooter's claim that he was acting in self-defense. Four in your corners, Liza Fernandez speaking with a local attorney who's sharing his expertise on what's going on behind the scenes. She's live in the studio. Liza. Patrick, this is a story that has grabbed the country's attention and divided its sympathies. And high-profile Fort Myers criminal defense attorney David Brenner is aware of people's concerns, but he cautions the passionate pleas on both sides. The facts of the Trayvon Martin shooting are few, but the opinions plentiful. Without looking at police reports, without looking at witness statements, we're just getting little snippets of what happened, which are then... For, for all intents and purposes, sensationalized. Fort Myers criminal defense attorney David Brenner's impression of the Trayvon Martin shooting. It appears that there may have been a sloppy investigation, which resulted in the failure to arrest the young man. On the other hand, there now is this mob mentality, public outcry, demanding his head on a platter. Brenner doesn't want to give further opinion on the case, if not only sticking to self-defense law in general. The shooter would have to claim that he believed that the younger, lighter, unarmed person was a threat to his life. But do new statements by the shooter, George Zimmerman, that say Trayvon Martin attacked him add to his defense? Brenner again on the law. Merely getting in a fight or a brawl with someone does not give you the right to shoot them with a firearm. Brenner says if the facts surrounding a shooting aren't clear, sometimes an arrest doesn't immediately follow, but that people should be patient and let the legal system work it out. Should people feel confident in the fact that the system is working, even though maybe not as fast as they would like? Well, that, that's actually what's happening. The system is working. A grand jury is scheduled to meet on April 10th to review evidence and decide if Zimmerman will be charged. Coming up at 1030, we'll share what you have to say about new pictures circulating out there that are seemingly turning the tables on your perception of this polarizing case. Live in the studio, Liza Fernandez, Fox 4, in your corner.